Good morning. Well, this morning, our scripture is found in James chapter 5, verse 19, and it goes like this. Brethren, if any of you do error from the truth, and one converteth him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his ways shall have a soul, uh, shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. I don't know about you, but I need uh, to cover a bunch of sins. Yes, Jesus has forgiven me of them, but I, I sin daily, just like everyone else. Today, I'd like to challenge you to talk to uh, your neighbors, your friends, your relatives about worshiping God with you. Some people attend church only three times. When they're hatched, when they're matched, and when they're dispatched. And it's sad, but that's the truth. There are so many around us, everywhere, uh, that just do not go to the house of the Lord. And uh, so it's, it's really up to you and I as to be ambassadors uh, for Christ and uh, to uh, show others uh, to the Lord. And one way that we have uh, to be able to do that is inviting someone to church with you so they can go worship with you and uh, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to them while they're there and, and uh, become a child of God. As I've proclaimed over and over time and time again, the Lord's return is at hand. And uh, folks, we don't have uh, too much time before the Lord comes back. That in life is so uncertain. We don't know when our last breath is going to be. So, unfortunately, many, many souls were going to end up in a place called hell because you and I didn't invite them to church. You and I didn't tell them about the love of Jesus. And uh, oh, how sad that is. It's going to be sadder when we stand in judgment before Christ. And, uh, you know, he says, well, why didn't you uh, tell your neighbor about me? What are you going to say? We won't have excuses there. There was an old song uh, that went around back a few years ago. It says, excuses, excuses, you'll hear them every day. And the devil, he'll supply them if the church, you'll stay away. When people come to know the Lord, the devil always loses. So keep them folks away from church. He'll offer them excuses. Has he offered you excuses not to go to church? I bet you he has. You know, there we find thousands of things, thousands of reasons uh, many times uh, not to attend church. A lot of the uh, people around us, our neighbors, uh, our close friends, uh, or acquaintances even, we need to invite them to go worship. We really do. And uh, uh, it's real simple. Just, just say, hey, we'll come by and pick you up and take you to the house of the Lord. And, uh, you know, but who does that? Very, very, very few. And consequently, there's, thousands of souls that are dying daily 
and we don't know when our time is to come. We need to begin in, in, to invite, uh, take people to church, uh, and let, or if you're a soul winner, <laughs> go just stand there and tell them about the love of Jesus. Absolutely. Now, I, I believe in that too. But many are a little shy, timid, possibly. And uh, so that's, that's when you invite them to church because you don't want your friend to perish. You know, uh, you can tell them about the different activities at your church, if your church has activities. Uh, for instance, tonight at our church, we have a game night, and we'll go play chicken foot together. And it's always fun, and there's always a snack or whatever. But it's it gets people of like-mindedness of Christ together. And we fellowship, and uh, that's uh, that's one thing the pandemic certainly took away. But we're we're beginning uh, to fellowship again like that in the uh, uh, Tuesday evenings, and I'm I'm truly excited about this. Uh, those that are shy or shut-ins, and, and I know there's a lot of those that just can't speak up. I, For one, believe it or not, I used to be that, that one. Uh, but you can always sit down and write out a, a little greeting card. Invite someone to church. Just invite them to church. Tell them about your church. Tell them about the love of God. Uh, and... That's your responsibility along with mine. It is. It's everyone's responsibility to share the love of God. And the way to do that is to invite your neighbors, invite your friends. Uh, you know, just you can call them on the phone. Uh, most of us talk on the phone pretty good. But in person, we just freeze up. So call them on the phone. If not, write them a, a little card, a letter. But we need to do something. Start working for the kingdom. Okay? Building the kingdom of God. Well, I hope you get something out of this today. Be sure and invite someone to church. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you. Bye-bye now.